India has released a major new seismic map and for the first time, the entire Himalayan arc has been placed in the highest earthquake danger category. This new category is called Zone 6 and it marks the biggest shift in India's earthquake risk assessment in decades. The new map has been released under India's revised earthquake design code. It shows that 61% of the country now falls in moderate to high earthquake hazard zones. This includes many of India's most crowded towns and rapidly growing cities. Experts say this update was long overdue. Vinit Gahalaut, director of the Wadia Institute of Himalayan Geology, says the earlier maps did not reflect the real danger across the Himalayas. The region was divided into two different zones even though the underlying tectonic stress was the same. He says the central Himalayan segment has not seen a major surface-breaking earthquake in almost 200 years, which means the faults are locked and still accumulating stress. The new map fixes this gap. It treats the entire Himalayan stretch as one continuous high-risk belt. Scientists say this reflects the real geological threat rather than old administrative boundaries that made the older map inconsistent. The updated zoning also shows how a major rupture in the outer Himalayas could push southwards and impact the plains till the Himalayan frontal thrust. In the Dehradun region, this fault line begins near Mohand. Under the new rules, if a town sits on a boundary between two risk levels, it will automatically be placed in the higher danger zone. This is to prevent planners from relying on outdated or overly optimistic assumptions. The Bureau of Indian Standards says the new map uses the latest global methods to measure earthquake hazard. This includes detailed analysis of active faults, their maximum possible magnitudes, how far strong shaking can travel, and how local ground conditions can amplify the impact. The older method depended too much on past earthquakes and old soil surveys. That led to several misclassifications, especially in quickly growing urban and industrial areas. This new approach gives a clearer picture of how much shaking a region can expect in a powerful earthquake. BS says all new buildings and infrastructure must follow the 2025 design code, not the 2016 version. This is important because nearly three-fourths of India's population now lives in regions that face real earthquake risk. The revised code also brings strict rules for parts of a building that are not part of the main structure. These include parapet walls, overhead tanks, lift shafts, suspended ceilings, and facade panels. These elements often collapse during earthquakes even when the main structure remains standing. Under the new rules, any heavy component that weighs more than 1% of the building's total weight must be fixed and braced to prevent it from falling. For areas near active faults, the code requires buildings to withstand sharp, pulse-like ground motions that are common in near-fault earthquakes. Engineers must follow new limits for displacement, ductility, and energy absorption. There are also fresh rules to deal with soil liquefaction and flexible ground conditions, which can cause buildings to tilt or sink during strong shaking. Critical services like hospitals, schools, bridges, and major public buildings now face the highest performance standards. They must remain operational even after a major earthquake so that emergency response and essential services are not disrupted. Another major feature of the 2025 map is the new exposure window. This takes into account population density, infrastructure concentration, and how vulnerable a community is to disruption. This means the earthquake zone now reflects not just the physical hazard, but also how badly people could be affected. While the Himalayan region sees a dramatic shift under the new map, the southern peninsula has not changed much. Scientists say the tectonic behavior in the south has been comparatively stable, so only minor refinements were needed there. India's new seismic map is being called a wake-up call for planners, builders and governments. It warns that a very large part of the country lives with real earthquake risk and it makes clear that the cost of ignoring the science will only grow as India continues to build, expand and urbanize at a rapid pace. 